Hello, welcome to the Indie Ocean. This is Red Rogue. Now, you may guess from the presence of the word rogue in the name what kind of game this is, but you'd be not quite right. You may have heard of the game Rogue, certainly if you watch my channel or you've paid much attention to the state of indie games over the last couple of years, you'll be familiar with the term roguelike, which came from the, I think, early to mid-80s game Rogue, which was one of the earliest, I don't think the earliest, but certainly one of the earliest, uh, procedurally generated dungeon crawl games. This, according to something I read when I first stumbled across its existence, is meant to be a sort of side-scrolling platformer-ish take on the original Rogue. I'm not convinced by that. I haven't played enough of Rogue to say what the similarities are, but that's the premise, I believe, from what I've read. Anyway, we have two modes going into this. We have Action RPG, which is real-time. Enemies will move around and do stuff independently of whether you're taking actions. Dogmatic is more of a traditional roguelike turn-based system where enemies will only move when you move. That's interesting, um, and it does give you more time to think and that sort of thing, but personally I prefer the action RPG mode. Uh, the pace is a bit better, and it's a bit more tense, it just flows better. The dogmatic mode feels quite stilted somehow. So anyway, let's leap into action RPG, and I'll show you what's what. So you walk into monsters to auto-attack, the traditional bump-based combat of roguelikes. And you press up to collect and to read stuff and down to extra level. That's about it. Everything else is done with the space bar, as you'll see as we go along. So you sit with your fingers on the arrow keys and on the space bar. Let's go. Now the way it works is it's all procedurally or randomly generated, as you might expect. And you're this guy, or girl, can't tell which, known only as the rogue. Um... So you're referred to as the rogue whenever you level up or anything, and you have this kind of skeletal beastie here, which is your minion, and that kind of follows you around and does its own thing, attacks enemies and all that kind of stuff. And you can give it equipment and whatnot. In the bottom left you'll see a big HP bar, and then three others next to it. One is MHP, which is minion HP, and then there's your level below that, and then ACT at the bottom. And I'm not entirely sure what ACT is, I assume it's some sort of menu bar, but... Um, menu bar? Magic bar. But, to the best of my knowledge, I've never encountered any magic, so I don't know for sure. Anyway, we're basically just trying to get to the bottom. Here's a chest, let's press up to open it. Picked up a rune of question mark and a knife. So, first things first, space bar to bring up the menu. And then inventory, weapons, knife. And as you can see, we can either equip it to ourselves. We can equip it as a throwing weapon, so I'm not going to do that. Or we can equip it as our minion's weapon. So we can equip weapons and armour on the minion as well as ourselves. I'm going to equip it upon myself. And there are runes that we can use to enchant stuff. We can eat them, which seems to produce the effect upon our person for a little while. I accidentally ate a rune of bleeding, and it just made me bleed for ages. It didn't do any health damage, it just made blood come out of me. Anyway, so let's enchant our weapon, our knife, with this mystery rune. See what it is. Okay, it says at the bottom there, Knife enchanted with Rune of Light. So it's a Rune of Light. Presumably it glows as we walk around. Now, you can't jump in this, despite its um, side-scrolling platform demeanour. So you have to go up and down ladders, which makes it feel a little bit like an old Atari game. Like an Atari 2600 game. Maybe. Oh, pit trap. And this is where the roguelikiness comes in. Um, <laughs> yes, I've just made up the word roguelikiness. Because not only is it procedurally generated and surprisingly tough... Ooh, secret. Lovely. So you have to keep stabbing that to get it open. You open doors by repeatedly walking into them. And we've gained a level! Okay, so what I was saying is... Adding to the roguelikiness of this... Is, um... The... Thing that I've now forgotten. Oh yes, pit traps. There are assorted traps and other things. Arrow traps, pit traps, teleport traps. All that kind of stuff. So it is a lot like a roguelike in spirit. Let's pick up this heart and open this chest. Another knife, so now we'll equip that on our minion. Equip minion main. And we have hearts. You frequently pick up the hearts of your enemies, and you can either eat them to restore your health or feed them to your minion to restore his. 
Yep. As far as I can tell, the main, if not only, source of recovering health is to eat hearts. Oh, crap. I was shot and teleported. That's not pretty. Right, let's go in. Press down. And we'll go down to the next floor. Now, we can go back up to the previous floor as well, like this. Oh. Press the wrong button. Okay. There we go. But what's the point, really? All the enemies have come back. And this is the gist of Red Rogue. Um, you... Crap, where did I go? Oh, I was there. Um, help me out here, minion. Oh, God, we're in the shit. It's alright, get to one. Uh, that looks like a cloud of flies, maybe? Let's pick that up. Rogue picked up flies and a top hat. I think flies are armour, so let's equip those. Um, which would be better, the top hat or the flies? Don't know. You're not given any stats. And that's one of the things I don't like about this game. I'll equip the top hat on myself. So you can see me wearing it there. On my sprite. Very dapper. Oops. Accidentally equipped flies instead. Much less dapper. No. Alright, I want to put the flies on my minion. That's a very odd sentence. Um, but yeah, one of the things I don't like about Red Rogue is it doesn't give you even basic stats on items. So I have no idea whether flies are better defensively than... Well, that was a teleport trap. Um, I have no idea whether flies are better defensively than Top Hat. I just... I don't have a clue. And as far as I know, there's no way of finding out. You just kind of guess, put stuff on, see what happens. And for the most part, I don't notice a discernible difference, at least in the early stages of the game I've got to. But Red Rogue is free, and it is a bit of a different experience. It is a nice variant on roguelikes, if you're into this sort of thing. What it reminds me of as I play it is partly old Atari 2600 games, mainly due to this ladder-centric manoeuvring. Um, partly it reminds me of Spelunky, or a very, very basic form of Spelunky. Um, and partly it reminds me of something like maybe Super House of Dead Ninjas. Um, this is probably old, older than at least one of those games, if not all of them, I have no idea. But um, that's what it reminds me of from my playing experience. A medley of other games I've played. Uh, oh crap! God, almost died there. Better eat a heart. Alright, I'll eat a troll heart. Why the hell not? Oh, it didn't heal me as much as I expected. My minion's almost dead as well. Better give him a kobold heart. Okay, so we're both alive for the time being. Ooh, a key. Sometimes, of course, you get locked chests and that sort of thing. So it's pretty much a standard dungeon crawl in a lot of respects. Oh, it killed me! Ugh, that was reckless. But that's fine. So yeah, in many ways, it works basically like a standard dungeon crawl, except with a very retro side-scrolling platformer kind of vibe to it. It is free, as far as I'm aware. Um, I will, as usual, put a link in the description below, if you want to check it out for yourself. And I give it a hesitant recommendation. It's really easy to pick up and play, it's easy to get into and easy to understand. There isn't a lot of complexity to it. So for short play sessions, it's actually pretty good. Um, but it, it is quite limited and it does have some oversights, like the um, absence of any sort of item stats and that kind of thing, which do make it an occasionally, if not frustrating, then slightly mystifying playing experience. Anyway, this has been Red Rogue. Certainly check it out if you think it seems like it might be up your street. I don't anti-recommend it, but I don't give it a wholehearted endorsement either. As usual, thanks for watching, and rejoin me the next time round for more game-related things. For the time being, I'll continue looting my chests and eating some hearts. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.